Hello everyone, I am Dr. Abhinay Alluri, Consultant Obstetrician, Gynecologist and Laparoscopic Surgeon at Medicover Women and Child Hospital, Madhapur. Today I am going to talk to you about an important topic that is contraception. Every woman has a right to become pregnant whenever they want, but it is very important for them to avoid unplanned pregnancies or unwanted pregnancies. So I am going to tell you a brief briefly about the different methods of contraception available and you can choose the option which is most suitable for you by meeting your doctor once. So first let us start. What are the different methods of contraception and what is contraception first? Contraception is nothing but birth control. As everyone knows for a pregnancy to occur the sperm and egg should meet, fertilization should happen and this fertilized uh, embryo should implant on the uterus and then the pregnancy grows. So the, there are different methods of contraception that act at different levels. So first let us see what are the natural methods of contraception available. As you know every woman has who has a regular 28 day cycle the ovulation happens around 14 day. So this is this period of 11 to 18 days is considered as a fertile period as uh, because ovulation happens at this time and they uh, we advise them not to have intercourse during this period so that pregnancy can be avoided but uh, there can be slight uh, difficulty when women is having a regular cycles to follow this method the next we come to the barrier method of contraception what is also called condoms there are male condoms and female condoms also so the name itself suggests barrier method barrier methods are nothing but they prevent the egg and sperm to mate that is how the pregnancy is prevented and there is an additional advantage with this method of contraception sexually transmitted infections can also be prevented by using barrier method of contraception and the good thing is there is no, no need to remember anything that you need to take some pill on time and it's important that you should not forget the pill whenever you are uh, planning for an intercourse it may be sudden sometimes then you can th use this barrier method of contraception and prevent your pregnancy but it's important you use uh, the uh, male wears the condom properly the slippage of the condom have to be prevented and removal of the penis after the intercourse is also important to prevent the spillage of the semen and unwanted pregnancies the next method which is the most famous method is the method of oral contraceptive pills these are 99 percent effective mind you when used properly so uh, what is uh, what do i mean by using them properly these medications have to be taken on time and how do these act these act by preventing ovulation so the uh, pills are started on day one of your cycle you take them continuously for 21 days and take them on a particular time and it's important that you take them on a particular time and you should not miss a pill if you miss one pill it's fine take it whenever you remember it but if you miss two pills the protection of this cycle may be lost maybe you have to go for other method of contraception during this cycle because the protection is not 100 percent so this is very important with the oral contraceptive pills that you take them regularly on time and you should not miss a pill so this may not sometimes shoot your busy schedules so think talk to your doctor before you're choosing this method of contraception but if used correctly and properly this is the most efficacious method of contraception and uh, one thing with this is anyone who is more than 35 years old who is a smoker or who is having migraine headaches or any history of blood clots in the family this is not something suggestible for them so if you are starting oral contraceptive pills for the first time just meet your doctor once and make sure you don't have any of these contraindications to use these pills now next coming to other methods which contain both estrogen and progesterone are there is a ring called nua ring and there are some patches also available. So this Nuva ring, this is inserted in the vagina. It stays in there for 21 days and you can remove it after 21 days and one week is ring free period and the next ring is inserted again. So what happens with the Nuva ring is, so anyone who is having morning sickness or who is not able to tolerate tablets orally, they can go for this ring. Uh, and the advantages of ring are only to remember that you have to put a tablet daily. That's how it helps. Now coming to the patch, these patches are put on the on your skin and the drugs get absorbed from here. Each pack lasts for one week. So you put each pack a week and the second week you put one more patch and the third week you put the third patch. And the fourth week is a patch free period. And again once the new cycle starts, 
you can start the uh, patch again but in tropical country like india this uh, patches are not recommended because of the sweating that occurs in the women this patch can become loose and fall off that's little slight disadvantage with the patch now let me talk to you about what we call an intrauterine device this is nothing but a copper tea or a marina so this is a small tiny device which is inserted inside your uterus it stays in place marina lasts for five years and there are copper teas who which last for three and five years it's like a one-time method you can just get it inserted inside your uterus it's just a simple opd procedure you walk in you can discuss with your doctor the different methods of contraception and usually this we recommend for women who finish their first pregnancy so that they need some interval to plan the next pregnancy and to avoid pregnancies during this time we, they can just get it inserted after their delivery and it stays in place so whenever you want to plan your next pregnancy you can get it removed and plan your pregnancy these are pretty comfortable and uh, this uh, so this hormonal IU uh, intrauterine devices also help if you are having any abnormal or irregular bleeding also and this contains only progesterone now coming to the next thing, there is a small device called Implanon. This is a small rod which can be placed under your skin. This is also a only progesterone containing device and once placed, it works for 3 years. And whenever you want to plan your pregnancy, you can just get this rod removed. And it's also a simple OPD procedure. You can just walk in, get the rod inserted and whenever you want to plan your pregnancy, you can get the rod removed. And the return of fertility is immediate with these methods and you can plan your pregnancy they are also something called injectable contraceptives these injections are given once in three months and this is also has the advantages that you don't have to remember that you have to take any pills or medications but the only disadvantage with this injectable contraceptives is there is some amount of decrease in bone mineral density with these injections and if you don't remember that the injection uh, time is over, then it may be difficult for you to uh, rely on this method. And also with this injection, some uh, women experience irregular bleeding and also the return of fertility is quite late after this injection. So injectable contraceptives is not something we recommend to the patients very often. It actually depends. These are the hormonal methods of contraception that are available to us. Now next speaking to what is called as emergency contraception mind you i'm telling you this is an emergency contraception that means if you have an intercourse and if you feel you're in ovulation period and to avoid this pregnancy you have to take high dose of progesterone this emergency contraception should not be used on regular basis because this will interrupt your cycles so emergency contraception should be used if there's a real emergency and the drug medication have, be, have to be taken within 72 hours after, uh, after your intercourse and there is also we can in, uh, put a copper tea this can be kept within five days of your intercourse so please use it cautiously don't go for regular use of emergency contraception there are several methods of contraception available that can be used on your regular basis these are the temporary methods and reversible methods of contraception now we also have uh, contraceptive methods for people who have finished their families and who don't want to plan their pregnancies further for males we have vasectomy and in females we have tubectomy in vasectomy we are going to cut a small part of the vas difference and that prevent the passage of sperm and in tubectomy we are going to remove small part of the fallopian tube or cut it so that there is no passage of uh, sperm through the tubes this is these are the permanent methods of contraception which are available so i think this is a quite informative session and you understood what are the different methods of contraception that are available so beach uh, wives choose which is appropriate for you meet your doctor and they can guide you which methods suits you better thank you